And, you know, one thing that I'm, I know this trend was going around and I had some of my patients ask me about that because we do have more women speaking up on things like endometriosis, adenomyosis, and some of these pelvic inflammatory conditions. Um, And there was a trend going around, I think TikTok, if you saw it, that women were inserting antihistamines into Mm -hmm. their cervix because they were finding that it helped some of their symptoms. What is that connection, if you can speak on it or want to speak on it, between histamines, hormones, flow, pain, and just how histamines play into that? Because we're starting to hear more about histamines in the gut. Finally, we're appreciating that connection. But can you speak to that histamine and vaginal or cervical connection to us? Yeah, where you see it more often in in my world is um, the histamine release that happens in the luteal phase at the end. So right when before you start your period. So patients will describe this period flu. Like they just feel kind of like right before their period, they kind of get like temperature issues. They feel kind of achy. They don't feel good. And it's this histamine release. And it's certainly worse on women who have like MCAS or other histamine instability <laughs> disorders. Um, for I mean, I, I'm sort of making that term up, but you understand what I'm saying. The people yeah, that have histamine intolerance. <laughs> histamine mm-hmm. intolerance, there you go. And so, yeah, they sort of have this histamine release and they tend to have this kind of period flu type symptoms where they feel like the, that their body's been taken over, right? Um, I think, you know, there's, as far as I'm aware, no data that's connected, like, are they then more adept at getting like infections during that week, right? Mm-hmm. Or like, could could it be, we just don't, I think because it naturally leads to someone's period. And a lot of times people who may even be having a brewing yeast infection feel a little bit better during their period because things are kind of mm-hmm. being flushed out. I think you would have to almost test women who have these histamine type reactions and know what their vaginal microbiome does in that particular phase. And I think that would be fascinating to understand, do they have this sort of shift that happens? 